Yo, what's up guys? Happy Friday. Uh, Coach Nate with another episode of Steel Strength Radio. We're going to keep this one short and sweet, but I want to address a topic that has come up multiple times in the last seven to 10 days, excuse me, seven to 10 days in conversations with clients. And I wanted to share my answer with you because if you don't find it helpful today, I'm confident, I'm positive you'll find it helpful at some point in the next six to 12 months. So the, the question is, what happens or how you know when i take time off or or what happens when i miss a couple weeks from the gym due to vacation illness etc okay um busy work schedule life right what happens when you miss a couple weeks maybe three weeks um maybe four weeks due to life well uh i'm gonna give you two answers number one it actually takes about three weeks before you start losing any muscle mass or strength so the really cool thing about strength adaptations, strength and muscle versus aerobic adaptation, you know, cardio adaptations, strength adaptations take longer to build, but they're much slower to go. So difficult to come by and it's also difficult to lose. You retain it very well, even over extended periods of time. Um, a quick note on that. Um, I trained consistently for, I don't know, eight years or so and then i actually took two years off due to some pretty serious health issues took two years off of lifting and what was wild when i got back into lifting i had retained like 70 percent of my strength despite doing you know maybe one workout per month during that time i mean i was hardly doing anything but i had retained like 70 percent of my strength and once i started lifting consistently again it came back very quickly um so quick note on that Cardio, aerobic gains, you can get in decent shape. You know, you can do like the couch to 5K program, go from like completely out of shape aerobically, go run a 5K uh, within a matter of a handful of weeks, maybe a couple months. Uh, but just as quickly as you gain that progress, you'll lose it. So you start, you know, you take a, a week, a, two weeks, three weeks off, and you're gonna lose a lot of those aerobic adaptations. That's just the nature of it, okay? Those aerobic adaptations tend to happen much faster. Um, these aerobic, or excuse me, the strength adaptations are just a, a, a longer, harder process for the body to go through, so it doesn't wanna let go of those um, as quickly. So anyway, the, the good news is if you're out for less than three weeks and you're not doing any lifting for three weeks, you're not going to lose any strength or muscle or if you do it's not going to be significant at all now what can happen you're going to come back you're going to feel out of the groove um, you might feel a little blah right but um, within a week or two you're right back to your old strength levels so you might be super sore that first week back but that doesn't mean you've actually lost any strength or muscle mass you might feel a little bit weaker um, that first week back just because again you're out of the groove of lifting but within a week or two you're right back to where you were before so you're not gonna lose any progress. So if you go on a one week vacation, you're out sick for a week, work gets crazy, you can't make it to the gym for a week, don't sweat it. If let's say you've got several weeks where you can only work out one time, you're probably gonna maintain, maybe even continue to make a little progress. And that brings me to my second point is the amount of work it takes to maintain your progress is way less than the amount of work it takes to make progress, to build strength and muscle. Um, there have been studies that show consistently, uh, if you're doing at, at least one third of the volume that you were doing to build the strength and muscle, you'll be able to maintain your progress. And I've even heard numbers as low as one ninth, okay? Now, what does this mean? So first, let's talk about volume. Volume is just a way that you measure how much work that you're doing. Uh, in this example, and what I'm talking about today, I'm gonna measure volume in terms of number of hard sets, or hard sets with an RPE of at least seven, let's say. So you're getting relatively close to failure. You're working hard on those sets. If you're doing an average, let's say you're coming three days a week like our average client, and you're doing about, oh, let's say 10 sets per muscle group per week, if you're doing about three sets per muscle group per week, you can maintain your progress. And possibly, you could maintain your progress doing as little as one or two sets per muscle group per week. Now, I'm not suggesting you do this as like a long-term plan because the point of working out is to make progress. But um, let's say you know you're going to be out for an extended period of time or you're going on vacation and then you got you got several things back to back, okay? The, the cool thing is if you want to take that, that time where you're going to be off, like completely, totally off, you can actually uh, make things a whole lot better by doing just a little bit more work. 
So if you're gonna be out for an extended period of time, if you would commit to doing one workout per week with one or two hard sets per body part, uh, that would be enough to maintain and possibly even make a little bit your progress, make a little bit of progress. So what would this look like? Um, I actually just had this, had somebody do this yesterday. Again, the, this video has been inspired by conversations I've had with clients recently. Um, what she did, she did squats. She did, she did two sets of squats, two sets of RDLs. Um, I believe it was two sets of bench press, two sets of some kind of row. And then for the arms, they, there are the arms and the core, they're already being worked. Um, you know, on like your, your bench press, on your squats, your RDLs, things like that, uh, your rows. So we're just gonna do one set of those. So one set of um, ab, one set of curl, one set of tricep extension, and one set of lateral raise. So you're talking about a total of 12 sets done very, I mean, it did it super quick, taking maybe a minute, maybe a minute and a half between sets once per week over the next few weeks until she's able to get back to her regular working out schedule. So I just wanna throw this out there. This is not a, a, a way that you want to train consistently over a long period of time, but it is a way to maintain your progress over short periods of time if, not if, but when life happens. So just to recap, the good news is if you're gonna miss several weeks, you're really not gonna start losing muscle and strength as long as you're up walking around. You don't have to do any training. You're not gonna lose any muscle or strength for the first three weeks, okay? If you wanna make sure that you're maintaining your progress, do one workout per week with one to two hard sets per muscle group per week. Um, and then you can just do like one set for the smaller muscles like the arms and the abs and the shoulders. And that will be plenty, that will be ample, that will be more than enough for you to maintain your hard-earned progress.